Almost three years ago, a man vanished. His remains were found a few months later, but it wasn't until recently that he was finally identified. And now there's some questions as to why it took so long to identify Sanchez Hughes. Tristan Hardy's on your side tonight, and he went to find out why it can take months, even years in some cases, for investigators to get a definitive answer. On December 11, 2020, two people fishing at a lake found clothes with a human skull and bones. The remains were found near marshes on Highway A1A in Wonderwood. It wasn't until this year authorities learned the remains were of 30-year-old Sanchez Hughes, a Jacksonville man who disappeared in August of 2020. The missing persons report from August of 2020 shows Hughes was last seen wearing a Nike hat and shoes. So if authorities found a man in December who also had a Nike hat and shoes on, why did it take so long to connect the dots? Dr. Phoebe Stubblefield says identifying remains isn't that simple. To get DNA out of that bone depends on if there's enough DNA available. Dr. Stubblefield with the University of Florida conducted nearly 100 skeletal examinations. She says identifying someone's remains could take months maybe years. Yeah, we still have cases where we're waiting on DNA analysis. For example, it depends on how much the 30 year olds remains were decomposing. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says the remains were sent to a private lab. I asked JSO around three o'clock Tuesday why in this case the remains were confirmed two years later. JSO says they were not given a positive ID until this month from the medical examiner's office. His family was notified last week and after three years, his remains were returned home. In Jacksonville, Tristan Hardy, First Coast News, on your side.